Okay, I'm going to pull up our motors um, setup <coughs> profile from last time. And all right, so we want to set up homing. Um, we don't want a home in place, which is the ability to select any point in the travel of the machine and call that machine home. We have home switches, so we want to use them. Uh, so we're going to come over here to homing. These home in places are checked. We do not want a home in place. We want a home uh, off the switches. So our order will be Z first. You want to retract Z, uh, X next, and then Y. And I'm a little confused on this because A is our other home sensor on the other side for our fourth motor. So what I'm going to do is change that to three so that it does it at the same time. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if that works or not, but I'm going to try it. And that's all we got to do on this for now. Now we're going to come to the ESS. We've got to configure the ESS. And we go to pins configuration. All right, so port 1, pin 10 is an input. We're going to change that to X home. We're going to give it an alias just so we can see it propagate everywhere else. And again, you don't have to name these things. It just makes life easier. So it's XYZ and A home. All right, so we've got those. We're going to come over here to input signals. And here we go. It's propagated over here. Motor 0 home is X. 1 is Y. 2 is Z. And then 3 is A. All right, it looks good. Uh, and then we need to... And the way I have this set up, we did this last time, I may move this down to here. Um, just to aid in homing. That way it's going to home this off of the A pin as opposed to just uh, stopping whenever the Y uh, sensor is, is tripped. So we're going to select nothing on those. Put A step in a direction there. Okay. All right. Let's check. So we should have everything we need to make this thing home. So that's in there, homing. Uh, okay, we do not want to home to the motor's index pin. Ours don't, don't mine doesn't have index pins, so maybe yours does. Um, I put my velocity on 100 units a minute. That's a little bit fast. I'm going to pull that back to 80. It'd probably be fine, but it just seems a little fast to me. We'll do 40 on the Z. And there are minimums. I think it's 2.21 or something like that's the minimum. Okay, so we've enabled the machine. All right, everything's working the right direction. Z is coming up. Oh, X is going the wrong direction and it's going really slow, really slow. In fact, look, it's going four. And this is an issue I had earlier. This is how... I, I decided to do this video actually. Okay, so the problem we've got here, we got to come down here to the pins configuration, and all these sensors need to be active low. If you go active high, it, for some reason it's a quirk in the plugin for um, Mach 4 and the ESS. It'll make it read the back off velocity first. Okay, so now we got to okay that. Now, chances are, since we've changed the way that sensor works, our um, directions, homing directions, might be wrong. But let's see what happens. Oh. All right, so X is right. And I think Z was wrong. And we can see we zeroed everything else out. Um, you got to check the machine coordinates when you check the, the home of the machine. All right, let's try this. Let's jog it away. And I don't know if you caught that, but with the sensor already activated, it kept trying to drive Z up. So I think Z is going to go the wrong direction. 
It has to do with those sensors, active high, active low, um, being incorrectly set. So basically it runs into the thing and then it tries to back it off into the sensor some more. Yep, it's going the wrong direction, so stop that. X is going the right direction. The correct direction, I should say. And I don't know why Y isn't working. Why should be working? Um, sometimes you have to restart the mock after you do a, a bunch of big setups like this, or big changes. Okay, so now we've got to change the direction. So Z, or uh, yeah, Z, we want to go positive because we want it to go up as opposed to down. And in this machine, if you remember your right hand rule, Z axis up is positive. All right, and I'm going to restart this real quick. Enable it, and there we go. All right, and there it is, it's done. Hope that helped.